More than a half century after the civil rights movement of the 1960s, lawmakers in deep red Mississippi are moving forward with legislation that critics are calling, quote, plantation politics. A white supermajority in the, in the Mississippi House passed legislation that would empower state officials to create a separate court system and expanded police force within the city of Jackson, one of the blackest cities in the country. And joining me now, Jarvis Dorch, executive director of the ACLU of Mississippi. Mr. Dorch, thank you very much for coming to the Sunday show. First of all, please explain to our viewers what House Bill 1020 would do. Uh, sure, uh, and thank you all for having me. Um, House Bill 1020 is a piece of legislation that creates a city within a city in Jackson. Um, it takes an existing district which was passed about five years ago to add infrastructure funding around the capital, around uh, state-owned buildings. It expands that district to include much of Northeast Jackson, which is the, um, the wealthiest part of the city, um, the part of the city with the highest white um, white population it expands that and creates a new judicial system within that district and also gives the capital police force uh, power power to enforce laws within that district uh, with this judicial system it also allows for uh, white appointed officials to make uh, appointments to, to um, new judges uh, prosecutors all of these would be appointed by the attorney general or the chief justice of the state supreme court all of whom are white and this is in a city that is um, over 80% black. So it would deprive um, black citizens in Jackson of their voting rights um, and take away their power to elect officials of their own choice. Uh, it would definitely create a city within a city where you know Jackson residents are gonna feel like second class citizens. And so help me understand, cause I'm still a little confused. So this separate police force and judicial system is going to be over the new part that's being added, I think you said the northeast part of Jackson, or will that new system have jurisdiction over the other parts of Jackson, the I was gonna, the black part of Jackson? You got eighty percent African American population there. So, who who will this police force and new court system impact? Well, I mean, there, there are so many bills that are targeting Jackson, so there are some bills that are still alive now that would give this Capitol Police Force jurisdiction over the entire city. Uh, HB 1020 was a complete monster in itself, so um, this would target this this area of the city that does have a, you know, higher um, uh, property values, um, you know, this, this is the wealthiest nice. part of the city. And it's a region of the city that, you know, folks, Republicans still have a lot of influence and they don't have that influence in city government. And what they've decided to do is, you know, we can't get, the way, get our way in city government. We're going to use the state legislature to give us our power back.